What's going on, North Texas Barbecue Addicts? Today, I've got two beautiful steaks from Six Brothers Beef Company. One is a high choice grade bone-in ribeye, and the other one is a 100% American Wagyu, Wagyu ribeye as well. And we're gonna go to my friend Craig's house. He's gonna get his PK grill fired up. We're gonna be cooking on a two-zone situation. We're gonna sear those steaks up after they get a little bit of smoke flavor. It's gonna be awesome. You're not gonna wanna miss it. That's coming up right now. Today we're gonna to be cooking some steaks like the title says. I got 100% American Wagyu steaks right here. This is a ribeye from Six Brothers. And this is an upper choice bone-in ribeye right here from Six Brothers as well. We're gonna be using the PK grill and we've got some Jack Daniels chips in there to smoke with and some Kingsford. We're gonna get that baby hot. Let me get this out of the package and we'll get it seasoned up. All right, so we got them out of package, and I'm gonna start out by dabbing them dry with a paper towel here. This is the Wagyu one, and this is the uh, upper choice. All right, get both sides dabbed down good. That marbling's insane in both of these, but I am excited about the Wagyu. So we got that dabbed down, and we're gonna be using some Suckle Busters SPG salt, pepper, garlic. You can use whatever you like, but when you're doing Wagyu and really good steaks in general, you really don't need all that extra stuff. Just some high heat, some salt, pepper, garlic, and I'll show you a little bit of something that I do at the end, which is uh, top the slices off with the garlic and basil olive oil. Look at that. Flip that around. Get a good little coating of the SPG here. And we're gonna go ahead and let that set up and we'll see y'all at the grill. All right, y'all, so we got the PK grill fired up. We got the two zone cooking situation here where we're gonna put our steaks. We're gonna put our steaks right here and then we're gonna sear them there at the end. So let's go ahead and get our steaks on. There we go. And we're cooking around 400 degrees or so on the indirect side so we're going to shut this down and we'll check on it and I'd say about two or three minutes. I'll see y'all right back. So we've been rolling for about two minutes now and we're still around 400 degrees. I'm going to go ahead, I made a decision, I'm going to go ahead and start searing this Wagyu right on our grates just like that. I'm going to go ahead and flip that ribeye there. That's what we're looking like. I'm gonna check on this in I'd say 45 seconds and we'll flip it. I'll catch back with y'all. All right, it's actually been about a minute. Let's see how the Wagyu steak's looking. Oh, that's looking beautiful. Let's go ahead and get a temperature check here. We're still really low, around 65 degrees. I'm gonna shut that down and let it go for about a minute to a minute and a half, and that should be done. And then we'll see what that other ribeye is looking like. All right, y'all, so I decided to pull the grate to the side for a second. We're gonna add some more Jack Daniels wood chips in here. I wanna get this sucker up to about 450 to 500 degrees, and I'd like to finish this Wagyu steak off in about a minute, maybe a minute and a half at max. There we go. Man, that smells good. Just like that. Nice little additional smoke for our ribeye over here as well. So I'm going to shut this down and we'll check on this steak right here in about a minute. And I bet you it's done. So I'll see y'all back. All right, y'all. So let's see what the steak's looking like. Smells awesome. Oh yeah, that's looking beautiful. Look at that. Oh, it's so tender. Look at that. Beautiful. I'm just gonna put it right over here just for about a minute or so. Let's go ahead and get this steak on here as well. Man, it's smelling good. There we go. Y'all can smell this. 
Dang, that's good. Let's see what we're looking like on our temperature now on the Wagyu. Right about 110 degrees. I'm gonna shut this down and let it go for about 45 seconds and it should be done. All right, it's smelling awesome. That salt, pepper, garlic, that steak, that charcoal, that Jack Daniels wood chips. Let's go ahead and flip that one more time. Check that out, guys. Beautiful grill marks on our steak here. Completely juicy. Let's set this right here and see what our temperature is. Should be there. Should be where we want to be. Let's go ahead and take a peek. 114 I'm gonna call it done I'm gonna go ahead and put it on a plate cover it in some foil and let it rest for about 10 or 15 minutes and then we'll slice into this while that guy's finishing up I'll see y'all back here shortly all right so this Wagyu steaks rested for about 10 minutes and then our upper choice ribeye is still gonna be resting so we're gonna set this one to the side it's important to rest your steaks and pretty much anything just for a little bit before you cut into it. So that's what it's looking like right there. Check that out. Got lots of juices, nice color on it. Let's go ahead and put it right there. Let's cut into it and see what it's looking like right down the middle. That's looking really good. Check that out. Beautiful. I'm gonna slice this up. Looking for like a medium, medium, rare to rare, anywhere in between there, all the way through it. There we go. That's looking good. We got some Brussels sprouts and broccoli that we're going to eat this with. There we go. That's good enough for right now. Let me get that other steak and uh, cut that one up. Now we got our bone-in ribeye here. Let's cut that off the bone here, just like that. Set that to the side. Same thing, cut right down the middle. Beautiful cook again. Let's go ahead and slice some of these up. And I told y'all we were going to do something with that garlic and basil olive oil earlier and I'm going to show y'all what we're going to do here in just one second this is the best part of the ribeye right there right there mm. yeah buddy so we're going to take this and drizzle it all over our slices and this is garlic and basil olive oil and then we're going to hit that with a little bit of salt pepper garlic right over the top Set that to the side. Let's give it a try. All right, guys. Both steaks. Look how beautifully cooked they are. We've got the Wagyu right here. Let's give it a try. Cheers, y'all. Mmm. So tender. Wow. So beefy. That olive oil really amplifies it. And then you topped it with that salt, pepper, garlic at the end after we sliced it. Look how tender that is. Perfectly cooked. Let's give this choice, upper choice ribeye a try. Cheers, y'all. Mm. Clearly, mm. Wagyu is gonna be the winner in this, but this steak right here is awesome too. Appreciate y'all for hanging out. Until next time, peace. Y'all keep on barbecuing. Check out Six Brothers Beef Company and get you some steaks. Later, y'all.